Okay, what's a thumbnail? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to your weekly dose of worship wednesday what up 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 yeah. so we have visuals now we have a youtube <laughs> channel now yeah what pretty cool welcome pretty cool welcome 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 this is the first episode of the year welcome to happy 2024 2024 yeah. happy new year happy new year compliments to the festive season I may be saying this until April because we're South Africans and we say that. Yeah. yeah. Of course we're South Africans. Yeah, exactly. Oh, for those that actually may not know, yeah. who may watch this somewhere else yeah. in the world, we are South African. Yes. Yes, we, we are. are young South African married people. Yes. So ah! let's get into this, man. Okay. What are we talking about? So our our conversation today is titled New Year same god yes it's giving impact you know it's giving fire it's giving intention yeah that's what i want like i want us to start the year off intentionally i want us to start the year off with god i want us to stay with him throughout the year i don't want us to call god when we need him yeah. you know i want us to call god every single day of the year 366 days this year we're calling god we're trusting god and also we're going to be letting go of old habits we're going to be letting go of things that don't glorify god and we're just going to you know give this year to god new year same god god yeah. didn't change last year he's not going to change this year honey. yeah so yeah our title is new year same god and i'm going to be bringing up my bible and our main passage of scripture is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. And I'm going to read it for you just quickly. Um, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do and he will show you which path to take. Yes. Yeah. So that is our passage of scripture today. What are you observing? What does the scripture say to you? Like... After me reading this New Year, same God, still in mind, like, what does this say to you? Yeah, well, um, I think the first thing we actually get from the scripture is, well, what I see now mostly in the Bible is the same thing, yeah. where God is calling us to salvation. Yeah. So, acknowledge Him, that in all your ways, acknowledge it, Him. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. You know, just that, where God is saying, in everything that you do, mm -hmm. you're going to have to trust me. In yeah, everything that you're me. trying to do, you're going to have to consult with me first. Yeah. Do it my way. Consult with God, not yeah. with anything else. So or anyone else. With us deciding to call this New Year, same God, mm -hmm. is that most of the time, we as people, we change. But, yeah. Yeah, but God doesn't change. Yeah. And so people think that there's new ways you can get to God. Yeah, actually. And there's no new way. There's no new way. Yeah. yeah. The, the way that to, you can do it is to surrender to Him. So when He says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, mm -hmm. that means it can take you back to the Ten Commandments, back in the Bible where God says, you serve me and only me. You don't have yeah. any other God. That's trusting yeah. Him with all your heart. Yeah. So you're not sharing your trust with other things or other people or other people yeah. or other gods or other gods yeah which is salvation where god says it's just me yeah you know, if you trust in me with all your heart yeah you know, don't lean on your own understanding don't think you can do this by yourself yeah, yeah so we've been there child so god is going he's repeatedly saying the same statements with every prophet a pistol person that gets involved in the bible gets to repeat what god has been saying for yeah. ever yeah so which takes us back to you know new year same god new year same y'all might be yeah. changing but god doesn't but god is not changing he's the same yeah. always today tomorrow and, and forever. forever and forever yeah. so i think yeah that's actually a good point to raise like we must acknowledge him like if you're trying to step into the dating scene what does god say about dating yeah you know if you're trying to like i know it's like back to school season you know university first year students hey you know but ask god like 
do you want me to go to this university do you want me to choose this certain career yeah like acknowledge god in all that you do not just money not just love not just you know your favorite car your dream car but like in every aspect of your life how you live how you eat you know like it's very important for us to acknowledge god in everything that we do yeah so i guess that's the first part of the scripture and then it says trust the lord yes how do we trust the lord um by obeying his commands yeah the best way to show god that you trust him is by doing what he, what said. he said because you believe yeah. in what he said and then you do it because yeah. trust is all about that it's all about taking what you hear and applying it yeah. regardless of and again regardless of how you feel yeah oh gosh yeah. yeah regardless of how i feel because i think we base trust on how we feel yeah you know like i feel like i don't trust you yeah and so a lot of the times with with god we apply that thing where we're like i feel like i cannot trust god with this yeah. and so god is saying if you don't trust me with it you can't trust me with all oh, of everything it, yeah everything you know? yeah, so yeah, yeah. by trusting god if we could practically put it into it's like when God says, seek first the kingdom of heaven yeah. and all its righteousness and all these things will be added yeah, yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. If you don't trust him, you're not going to seek him first. You know? There you have it, guys. Let's just yeah. close this off. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't trust him, you're not going to seek you're him not first. Gonna seek you're not him even going to try. You're not even going to try. You know, yeah. You're going to be like, I'll seek him sometimes. Yeah. I'll do some other things sometimes. Yeah. You know, but I'm not going to do it always. All the time. You know? yeah. So by practically putting it into a practical sense it's obeying his commandments and doing what he actually says we must do living yeah. how he says we must live that's the only way to trust god yeah because sometimes we think that trusting god is just repeatedly telling ourselves that, that i trust, we trust you. him yeah, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. your actions don't follow up that trust it's yeah. what it, the book of james talks about to say don't be hearers of the word only be but be word. doers of the word yeah. so Trusting God really stems to that. You got to be able to do what He said. Yeah. You know, if God says, a, a, a better example of someone who did not trust God was the rich man who came up to Jesus and wanted to be part of the disciples. And Jesus said to him, "Sell everything that you have, give it to the poor, then come back." And he walks away and he doesn't even come back. He doesn't even trust God. Yeah. So that's him yeah. literally being like. I don't trust that process, you know. I, I work too hard for all these things. I don't, yeah. I don't trust that plan, you know. Mm -hmm. So God is then. Then Jesus says it's gonna be way more difficult for him to get in yeah. than anybody else, yeah. you know, simply think, because you don't trust him. I think also trusting God means like also obeying. Well, not obeying, but understanding that sometimes his no means you still have to trust him yeah you know like sometimes i know we may all plan we have so many plans for this year we want to get our gym right we want to exactly. get school right you know we want to get work right whatever it is that you may be doing but sometimes you may say no and now because he said no doesn't mean you must now waver in faith yeah. i think that's what i was trying to say sometimes trusting god means standing firm in your faith to say you know what I don't know what God is doing, but I'm still going to believe in him. And it doesn't change the fact that I didn't get what I wanted at the time. It doesn't change the God that he is right now. Exactly. You know, same God. He's still the same He's God. He's still the same. He's still the same God. So I think also having to surrender everything yeah. to him. Because yeah. he says, trust the lord with all your heart yeah so whatever that our heart desires or whatever that we may think we want we may still we still have the opportunity to trust god with it yeah, yeah you know it's like what i was saying to say take it back to god if it's learning how to i don't know play yeah, the guitar. yeah whatever it is if it's learning know. how to play the guitar go talk to david <laughs> You yeah. Know, like, I don't know. Like, take it back to God. Take it back to God. Whether it's dating, love, finances, take it back to God. Trust, For sure. Trust in the Lord. For sure. Yeah. And then it says, seek His will in all that you do. You talked about Matthew six thirty three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when it comes to seeking God's will, I think the thing is, especially when when the year starts like this, everybody has a plan. Yeah. 
I have a plan. Yeah. I know you have a plan. Exactly. Yeah. You know, everybody comes and is like, yeah, I this is my plan. Yeah. But what is God's plan? What is plan? God's plan? You know, we're making our plans and then we bring them to God. And he's like, that's not been in my agenda for you for the past five years. And you've been trying hey, the same thing. Hey, and so hey, when he says we must seek his will, God yeah. says, all right, try my plan. And here's the thing. My brother and I actually talked about this. Um, we, we have God's plan for our lives. It's in his Bible. Mm-hmm. And we keep coming to God with this whole, what Lord, show plan? me the plan. Like, show me the what purpose. are you doing? Like, yeah. give me the thing. Yeah. And the truth is, I keep forgetting we have to talk to them. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I literally keep forgetting we have to talk to y'all too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew to this. So y'all, y'all forgive us. Bear right? with us a little yeah. bit, child. But I think we, um, we come to God with our plan. It's always our plan. Yeah. You know, it's always our plan, what we want to do. Yeah. And it's never, what does God want to do this year? Yeah. What does God want to do with me? me? Yeah, through me yeah. this year. What is yeah. what does he want from me this year? Let me lay aside what I want. Because yeah. this is what he's saying. When he says, seek me first. Yeah. You know, he's saying, yeah, forget about you. It might not sound nice. It, it doesn't. Might not sound like, it doesn't. I have all these plans and these interests and these things that I want to do and I just have to forget about them and just trust in this one plan that God mm-hmm. has. And so when God says, seek first the kingdom, yeah. you know, trust in me with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Lean not to your own plan. Lean not to your own strategy. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have intellect to be able to put out these things, but it means that following what God said first. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so... That's what I get from that. When it comes to seeking first God's kingdom, to seeking him and acknowledging him in all that we do. Yeah. God tells us what we do yeah. in order to acknowledge him. You know, places we should go, things we should do, people we should be around with. Uh-huh. He gives us the whole landscape for all of that. So yeah. if we behave as though we don't know, we'll always keep falling on the the failures of what we tried to do. Yeah. And then blame God in the end and say, God didn't answer me. When we didn't even go to him in the first place. Exactly. Shoot, child. I think one thing that I noticed as well is that we link a scripture to another scripture. Mm. Like we linked um, Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 to Matthew 6 verse 33. Yeah. And I guess that shows us like how consistent God is with his word. Yeah, he's He's the same God. Yeah. You know, he's not going to change what he said in the Old Testament to suit what you want in the New Testament. You know, he's still the same God. So he's not going to change the fact that you must read your Bible. You must meditate on a day and night. He's not going to change the fact that you must fast and pray. You know, that doesn't change. You know, those are the principles that he gives us. So if we want to learn or let me not say learn, but if we want to see our plans through, we must just take them to God see what he says about these plans and then he'll literally show us which path to take that's verse six definitely yeah so in all aspects really just we know it's the hype of the new year and we know it's a new plan new me you whatever but take it to god first before you put it on your vision board yeah 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 before you before you date him you know Ah! um (laughs) <laughs> yeah before yeah, you date them before yeah. before you talk to them and before they have your number before you're all on a date before you accept the job yeah before you accept the job before you you move out of the country yeah you know, I don't changing know locations yeah. buying a house yeah it's all of that you know yeah. because they might seem like small things it might seem like things that probably don't matter yeah it might seem like things that we don't even need to take them to account yeah. but the thing is when it says in all your ways acknowledge it like in everything it's almost like growing up in a household there are things you cannot do yeah without your parents approval you can't just bring anybody in the yard yeah. you can't just be friends you can't come and leave at whatever time you want yeah your parent will tell you this ain't your house mm. if you want to do that you can have you your, own your own house. house yeah and there's consequences to that the same applies with god yeah this is his house. It's his this house. life is his house. Yeah. He created it and he has rules. Yeah. So when he says, trust in me, 
seek first my kingdom you know lean not to your own understanding he's literally saying i'm the boss here <laughs> i have the rules here i rule here if you yeah. follow me you will succeed yeah. for sure yeah if you don't be ready to face the consequences of not following him Take so tick. new year same god new year same god so how do we practically apply this because we have to read scripture yes and you said trusting the Lord means having to do what he says. So how do we practically, you know, apply the scripture? Um, I would say the first thing to do is to give your life to Christ. Um, off top, really. The first thing that I think anyone can do in terms of wanting to apply the word of God yeah. is be saved. Give your life to Christ, surrender your ways, repent from your sins and live for him. That's the first step. If you do that, because you're not going to work your way through it, you know, um, the Holy Spirit will do the transformation in you. So you thinking that maybe if I can apply it without having been saved, you probably get results of things that don't need you to be saved. Huh. It's like planting and reaping. You don't need to be saved to reap after soul. Mm -hmm. You don't, you just have to apply the principle. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to God, the best way to illustrate his will for our lives is to first surrender our lives to him. Yeah. Number two, get to know him, you know, read your word. Yeah. That's the only way to get to know him. God, my brother would always say, most of the time, God does not speak outside of his Bible. That's true. You know, we go around hearing God said, he said to me, mm -hmm. you know, but if I ask you for an account of that in the Bible, you're like, no, 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 this, this was my, this is my revelation. It was my, I heard this, this yeah. was for me. And majority of the time, it's probably our own intellect. Talk. Okay. So number two is that get to know who he is. Number yeah. three start to live for him you know just like I'll, I'll i think i'll keep making more references to marriage and relationships is that when you meet somebody that you love there are things you stop doing because yeah. you're like i don't want to hurt them yeah i don't want to upset them yeah. they don't like this so i'm going to stop doing it they like this so i'm going to start doing it they like to watch that i'm gonna watch it with them yeah. they like to eat this so i have to start eating it Salvation and doing God's will and living for Him works in the same way. Yeah. You know, it's not God fitting into our lives. It's us fitting into His, his life. Yeah, his Just role. like with relationships where it's like, I'm fitting into yours and you're fitting into mine. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that would be the three steps that you could do. Yeah. Yeah. Get saved, get to know Him, apply the knowledge that you you know just received yeah and i think if there's like one teeny tiny thing that i would add is before making any major decision or even like any decision at all mm. maybe like talk to god in prayer you know ask yeah. for that discernment ask god for wisdom what should you do you know it's it's those small things that actually show god that we are acknowledging him in everything that we're doing yeah. so it's no use for us to be saved if we're not going to go to him in prayer and be like okay god this is what's happening what do i do or i just met him or her yeah what what is our relationship going to be or is this person supposed to be in my life you know those type of things so i think it's just one thing i can add is whatever it is before doing it pray yeah pray about it and you may never know what answer god can give you yeah, yeah. definitely yeah are yeah. we done i think we're done <laughs> what it's the first episode done and dusted yeah. okay this was new year's saying god we change god doesn't change mm -hmm. you know god yeah. is still the same although our plans may have changed from the previous year or the years before but God is still the same. So let's just trust him. Yeah, for sure. So thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> thank you guys for watching yeah, and for staying for watching. through with us. Let us know in the comments. What? I can say that now. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you are trusting God for and let's communicate let's get to know each other we yeah let us know where you're watching from let us too. know where you are watching from, where you from. 
Oh, okay. Why yeah. did your voice change? No, because we can't forget them. We oh, started oh, here. Yeah. Oh, we, we started, started here. with the listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got Let here. us know where you're listening from. Let yeah. us know where you're watching from. Tell us what you are trusting God for this year. Let us know what you are letting go of this year. And we may also share some nuggets of ours as well. For sure. Thank you guys for listening. I will see you guys next week. Bye. All right.